Hop on out for me, man. I don't want to hop out the car. You don't have a choice. What happens when road rage collides with law enforcement? It Driven by a woman determined to rewrite the rules of the road, the Florida Highway Patrol found themselves in a high-speed philosophical debate when the driver, in a classic white and black Volkswagen, declared she didn't have to stop. She ignored repeated commands, insisting she had no obligation to comply. Clearly, she missed the memo that stop signs and police sirens aren't just optional suggestions. The situation took a wild turn when a citizen in a truck decided to join the plot, playing the unexpected hero in this real-life drama. As officers approached, the woman continued her soliloquy, questioning the legality of their actions and expressing sheer annoyance at being pulled over. After a reluctant exit from the vehicle and a quick pat down, it seems the only thing this chase was missing was a popcorn stand. Consider the woman in the white Volkswagen who ignored stop signs and police commands. Instead of cooperating, she lectured officers on their authority, showing how road rage can lead to serious confrontations. Out of an action movie, a suspect in Colorado decided that stealing a Colorado State Patrol vehicle would be the perfect getaway plan. Did you mention she has been KVA? Yeah, As if that wasn't audacious enough, the ensuing high-speed chase saw the stolen cruiser racing at over 120 mph, at times recklessly barreling down the wrong lane. Well, one F1 on Otero County Max. We're going to be trying to catch up to this vehicle. Yes. Go ahead and have radio. Disable the radio, please. Disable the radio. It's our car 723. Patrol and find out if this individual is armed, please. He's not anymore. Well, like my rifle. The rifle is in the vehicle. He was not armed. The 394, 394. Just past the 392, speeds 99. Make sure they're confirmed. He's coming over the hill. Because, you know, when you're on the run, the rules of the road are just suggestions, right? Law enforcement officers, undoubtedly thrilled to be part of such a well planned caper deployed stop sticks in a bid to end the chase. What's that? The pursuit concluded dramatically with a fiery crash, where officers, perhaps regretting their morning coffee choice, had to extinguish the flames and rescue the driver. We 
miraculously conscious. The suspect's grand escape plan fizzled out. To handle road rage, police are trained to calm things down, but it's tricky. They sometimes use stop sticks to puncture tires and slow suspects down, or rely on teamwork with other units. This is a perfect display of due regard for pubic safety officer. In the academy, you are taught and overly trained to drive as this officer did to maintain the safety of everyone on the road. staying back to ensure the safety of the general public, and his driving skills are impeccable, doesn't put a foot wrong the entire time. I have not seen many perfect examples of a safe pursuit. Outstanding job officer. A classic police chase unfolded in Los Angeles providing commuters with a live-action show they certainly didn't ask for. The main star, a driver whose only known crime was a severe case of Leadfoot, turned the city's streets into his own chaotic racetrack. Los Angeles Chase Police pursued a reckless driver who ignored speed limits and drove on the wrong side of the road. Instead of rushing in, officers prioritized public safety, keeping their distance. When the suspect parked and attempted to walk away, police arrested him without further danger. Long way on Balboa Boulevard, he demonstrated an impressive disregard for both speed limits and common sense. The California Highway Patrol, along with the LAPD, initially tried to keep up, but eventually decided that preserving public safety was more important than catching one reckless driver perhaps figuring they'd catch up with him later, like a bad sequel. In a surprising twist, the suspect ended his vehicular escapade by parking and taking a leisurely stroll. What was he thinking? The chase concluded with his peaceful arrest proving that even the most reckless drivers eventually have to face reality, no matter how fast they think they can run from it. There are times when officers have no choice but to act fast and forcefully. Take the Dodge Charger chase on Interstate 40 in January 2024. The driver, who started the whole thing by aggressively brake-checking a state trooper, thought speeding through traffic would get him out of trouble. The chase finally came to an end when the suspect attempted to stop the vehicle. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to like, subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any of our latest updates. Do let us know your thoughts in the comments section. We'll see you guys next time.